Welcome to Aggregate, an open source Python package for solving actuarial problems with aggregate probability distributions. And in this video, we're going to cover how to apply occurrence reinsurance structures to an aggregate distribution that you've built. So we're going to start by importing build and QD as usual. And then I want to build out the gross uh, portfolio that we will apply the reinsurance to. And I want to have uh, 40 claims. I want uh, the 10,000 X of zero uh, limit. I want a log normal uh, severity with a mean of 50 and a CB of four. And I'm gonna go with a mixed uh, gamma, so a negative binomial frequency with a mixing CV of 25%. And let's build that out. Okay, so we look at the quality assurance. Uh, we see that fail validation because the aggregate mean is uh, too high relative to the occurrence, which suggests that the bucket size is too uh, small. So we'll increase it from a quarter to a half, and then we get to, that that validates out quite nicely. All right, so now what I wanna do is take this and I wanna apply some occurrence uh, reinsurance to it. So uh, let's just uh, rename it a little bit here. Rename it net and QD net down here. And to apply occurrence reinsurance, we're gonna put a clause in at this point here after we've specified severity, but before we specify frequency. So occurrence, and what we want is we wanna model this from the sedence perspective. So we want net of coming out. And I'm envisaging that this is like a, a risk retention group or maybe a large account that wants an SIR deductible or possibly a line of business at a small company that's looking for uh, reinsurance. And they're looking to buy their retention down uh, to 500. So they're looking to buy uh, 9,500 X of 500. So let's uh, let's run that out. And uh, we see we'll continue with the bucket size of a half to keep everything comparable. It validates quite nicely. Uh, the gross is now going to be shown under the E of X column here. So this is the analytic estimate of gross. And the second column, which before was the uh, aggregate uh, estimate using FFTs is still that, but it's for the net. So now this first column is analytic gross. The second column is numerical net. And that's why when you do reinsurance, you always want to start with an estimate of the gross, make sure that that's modeled correctly. And then you adjust off that to build the net distribution out. So we see now the severity because of the lower uh, limit down to 500. Uh, severity has decreased from 49,804 down to 41. Uh, eight, so um, what's that about? A decrease of about eight uh, units there. And the expected loss is then going to be um, that uh, um, it's, it's going to be uh, 40 times the 41, so 1672. So both the severity and the aggregate loss have decreased by 16%. The CV here is uh, analytic for the gross, the estimated is for the net. So we see the net CV goes down from 64% to 43%, and the net skewness goes down from uh, 2.6 to 0.7. Okay, so uh, we'd like a little more information about this. What, what else can we, uh, what else can we uh, see about this reinsurance? Uh, well, if we do a net, and then if you start to type reinsurance, uh, you can get a list of available uh, options here. And a good one to look at is the occurrence layer uh, data frame. So that shows us um, for our layer um, of nine and a half X a half, we're seeding um, 320,000. So about 40 times our four, uh, eight reduction in the severity, 320 uh, units of uh, seeded loss. Our net is 1672 is the 1672 we had here. And our gross, the, I call it subject rather than gross, because it might not necessarily be gross, uh, is 1992 uh, that we had here. Uh, we also compute the CVs on a um, gross, seeded, and uh, subject basis on the for the severity. So the 1.98 is the severity there. Um, and then we also show the percent of loss that's seeded. So 16% is seeded to this um, layer. There is also, if you look uh, uh, under reinsurance, there's an audit data frame. Uh, and that audit data frame here shows, um, so it gives you a view for seeded net and um, subject. Uh, let's just look at the seeded uh, columns. 
So this is just the severity. Okay, so this, this 7.98 here is the difference in severity between the gross 49.8 and the net 41.8. That's the eight, eight point uh, reduction there in, in severity. All right. Now, if you had a program like this and you were thinking of reinsuring it, uh, you wouldn't write it probably all in one go. You would probably layer it out. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's see how we can uh, layer out uh, the, the losses here. Uh, and I should mention that you know uh, the occurrence is a is a keyword. Net of here is is giving the net view coming out. We could also put uh, seeded two in here, but we'll stick with uh, with net of. And then let's layer out. Um, we can put uh, co participations in as well, uh, or or shares of. So let's layer this out. Um, and I, I want to just illustrate something. Um, if you put in a ninety percent uh, part of the, this layer, PO stands for part of, and run that, it's going to warn you that probably uh, part of should be a dollar amount. So, you know, FAC underwriters would say they would write maybe 2 million part of 9.5x of a half. And so that would be two, you know, 9 point fifths of the total limit. It would be about 20% of the total limit. And I, I describe that as a share of rather than a part of. So, dollars part of a total or percent share of uh, a total. So this uh, this is going to compute correctly. So now let's imagine that we're layering this out and maybe we're going to start by layering. Uh, we'll layer the, the first 500 and the client's going to take a reasonable co-participation in that. And then maybe they're going to take, uh, you know, they're going to take a 10% co-participation, let's say in a million X a million here. And then maybe going to take a 5% co-participation in the 3 million x to 2 million. I'm just sort of layering this out the way an excess uh, uh, underwriter might do that. And then at the end, we'll just have a 5 million x, 5 million layer that'll be 100% placed. And in order for these to all chain and function together, we need to add an and uh, keyword at the end that uh, tells aggregate that it, you're do, you've got multiple layers that you're looking to uh, seed away. Okay, so let's just uh, execute that. So that's working quite nicely. Now, uh, before here, we had a net loss of, we had net severity of 41.8 and 1672. So the net severity has gone up uh, to 44 because of the co-participations. And as a result, the net loss has gone up as well to 1762. Uh, okay, now if we look now at our uh, reinsurance uh, occurrence layer data frame, it's a little more interesting because we've got uh, more layers uh, to look at. So we want to look at uh, a net two. So now it's going to show you each layer It's going to show you the share limit attachment. Um, the total session here is 1992 minus uh, 1762. So uh, that's about 230. That's my 230 total seeded here. Uh, again, my 1762 net 1992 uh, gross. Uh, and then this first column is showing me the expected loss, E of X expected loss for each of the place percentages of each layer. Okay. The net is the net um, of uh, that layer and all the layers above. So you can see this sort of builds up um, to, I'm sorry, no, it's just net of the indicated layer. So uh, 1915, if you just bought 50% of 5X of 5, your net would be 1915. If you just bought 90% of a mil X a mil, it would be 1908 uh, and so forth. Okay. The subject doesn't change. And then you've got the CVs. Uh, you've got the expected claim count. So overall, we've got a claim count of 40.54 claims on an expected basis. Make it into the uh, excess of 500.175. Make it excess of a million. 5% uh, make it excess of 2 million. And only 6 in 1,000 make it excess of 5 million. Uh, then you've got the severity in each layer on a 100% uh, basis. Um, and finally, you've got the percent of loss in each layer as well. Uh, we can also look at the um, audit data frame again, have a little more information because we've got the multiple layers. This is, remember, just looking uh, at uh, se severity. So we're seeing the severity is reducing from 49.8 to 44, so about 5.8. And this is showing us how the 5.8 is coming through. So this is just a severity um, view. When you uh, apply to the OCK layer view, it multiplies everything by the ground up claim count. This is all uh, ground up expected values. Okay. 
Um, we can also uh, see a, a plot of how this is looking. So again, if we do reinsurance, uh, we've got a, an occurrence plot here. And if we look at that, it's going to show us on the left hand side. Uh, this is a log density. You've got the subject business is the blue line with the limit of 10 million. Uh, the session maximum session is about 9 million in total uh, after all the co-participations. And then the orange line here is the net distribution. And then on the right, we're showing the percentile points. So 80th percentile, 90th, 99th percentile uh, for uh, the session, the gross and the net here. Um, we could also, uh, as I mentioned, ask to see uh, the seeded view out of all this. Um, so if we change net here to seeded, um, let's do seeded and seeded. And here we're just going to change seeded to. Okay, and this is going to be the reinsurance view. So there's the 230 expected loss that gets seeded to this program with an estimated coefficient of variation of uh, 3.16 for the reinsurer. <clears throat> so what I want to do now is just uh, maybe uh, a point of this, you would, you would be interested in knowing how, uh, what is the, let's quantify the impact on the tail outcomes by pulling off a few uh, percentiles. So I want to just make a dictionary of uh, the three uh, objects that we're working with. So we've got a gross object. Uh, we've got a, our A net two is our net object. And we've got our seeded object. So this is just going to be a dictionary. And um, oh, A seeded. Um, and I'm going to use pandas here. So I want to import pandas as PD. And I want to. Uh, look up uh, some percentile levels. We can put anything we like in here, but maybe we start and we do uh, uh, 50th percentile, the median, 80th, 90th, uh, 95th, 98th, 99th, 99 and a half, 99.9, and let's go haywire and 99.9. Okay, so there's a bunch of probability levels that we're interested in. And then what we're going to do is make a pandas data frame by just querying each of these aggregate objects. They all have uh, quantile functions, right? So if I wanted to know what the 99th percentile of gross losses are, I just use AQ of 99, it's 6716. So we can do that, um, use a, um, comprehensions here, and we're gonna do object Q of P for P in our P values for OB in AGS dot values in our dictionary and uh, the um, index that we're going to get off this is then going to be ags dot keys and the columns are going to be our keys okay so um, and if let's just give columns uh, a name call that p and um, Look at the result. Okay, so what we're showing here is, uh, let's look at this column, our 99th percentile. We already saw that on a gross basis, the 99th percentile is 6716. On a net basis, that goes down to 4092. And the to the reinsurer, the session um, at the 99th, their 99th percentile would be 3503. That's obviously slightly different than the difference between gross and net because of diversification benefit. So from here, you know, you could do all the sort of usual things. Um, we could compute the uh, reduction in the 99th percentile um, uh, by comparing. Um, so let's see, we would want to do df.net over df.gross minus one. Um, uh, oh, lock net lock because right, it's all done as rows, not columns. So we're going to have to do it like this and lock gross. Okay, so this is our percentage uh, reduction, 16% reduction at 90th percent, 39% uh, reduction at 99th and so forth. So that just gives you some idea about modeling um, gross, seeded, and net distributions. 
with really quite complicated uh, aggregate structures available to you here. And I will also mention that everything that we've seen up until this point in terms of being able to have a limit profile with multiple uh, exposures specified and being able to have a mixed severity distribution or being able to specify a book of business with multiple different components, each with a different limit and attachment point and potentially a different severity curve, but all with a shared mixing distribution. So you're capturing that systematic uncertainty that can all be accomplished in one statement here with by adding in the uh, appropriate um, arguments that we've seen in some previous sessions. Um, so uh, next session, uh, we'll cover how to model aggregate features on top of this, things like uh, sliding scale commissions and aggregate limits and deductibles. Thank you.